everyone, and welcome to another episode of Annie Talks, where we bring to you interesting stories about interesting people that you want to know about. I'm your host, Annie Rivera. Thank you for tuning in, and to those who have already subscribed. If you're new to the podcast, welcome, and I hope you enjoy what you hear. And if so, I personally invite you to subscribe. Annie Talks is brought to you by Luxwear Trends, affordable, luxurious timepieces for every occasion, luxury that lasts forever, and that's what sets us apart from others. Find us on Facebook and Instagram, or visit luxwearetrends.com. That's L-U-X-E Wear Trends.com. In this episode of Annie Talks, I wanted to try something a little different. For those of you who have already followed me and who do follow me, uh, you know that I have a segment on my YouTube channel called My Favorites. And there are different things for that given month. Things like favorite movie, favorite show, favorite podcaster, favorite YouTuber, favorite foods, etc., So specific to the podcast audience, I thought it would be nice to have a favorite podcaster of the month. And I hope in some small way that I could contribute to the world by influencing others to listen to the types of podcasts that I listen to. I don't know how long each of these episodes will be and each and every single month, but I guess We'll test the waters in this maiden voyage of a series. So this is the first of what I hope to be a monthly series simply titled My Favorite Podcasters of the Month. And so, without further ado, here are my favorite podcasters for the month of February. So Here's a podcaster that I mentioned more recently in one of my YouTube videos. And by the way, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'll have the link in the podcast or I'll have my link in the description of this podcast. So be sure to check it out in case you haven't already. Back to this. This podcaster is Frank Buckley Interviews. Frank Buckley is the KTLA 5 morning news anchor seen here in Los Angeles, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., I think. And why I enjoy Frank Buckley interviews so much is primarily because of the people he interviews. I mean, first of all, these are high-profile people, celebrities, authors, athletes, etc. I mean, I guess if you have a primetime news anchor, or if you are a primetime news anchor, you can have whoever you want on your podcast, right? One can only dream. All kidding aside, though, he really does have great interviews on his podcast. Recently, he interviewed George Takei, better known for his role as Hikaru Sulu on the USS Enterprise of the original show Star Trek. And I'm so sorry to all you Trekkies if I butchered the character name. I apologize. George Takei is also starring in the musical Allegiance at the Aratani Theater at the Japanese American Cultural and Community Center in downtown Los Angeles. I have to say, I actually saw George perform Allegiance right around the time it had opened up in New York City. It is an original Broadway musical, and he starred with then-co-star Lea Salonga. It was truly an amazing performance by both actors, and I remember attending the performance with my good friend Nikki. And between the two of us and the many hundreds of theatergoers out there, There was not a dry eye in the theater. I kid you not. I digress, I know. And this could be just a whole separate subject in and of itself in a different podcast episode. We could dissect Allegiance and other musicals on the on the big and small stages locally and abroad. But for now, uh, let's stick with this subject. Anyways, back to Frank Buckley. He has awesome guests on his show that a small-time fish like myself in a large pond can only dream of having on my show one day. He once had Jimmy Jam 
who, as you know, along with co-producer Terry Lewis, wrote and produced Janet Jackson's first album. In that particular podcast, though, Jimmy Jam talks in detail about that experience and what all it transpired behind the scenes while working with Miss Jackson. This was one of my favorite episodes on Frank Buckley interviews. And actually, there were so many more favorites, including an interview with the legendary voice of the Los Angeles Dodgers, Mr. Vin Scully himself. So if you're like me and you love to hear these deep conversations with legendary greats or celebrities and other high-profile public figures, I recommend downloading and listening to Frank Buckley interviews. Now on to my second favorite podcast of the month of February. This podcast, I think I may have first downloaded the series way back in October or November in 2017. And I didn't actually start listening more intently until this year, beginning in January. First of all, this podcaster is living the dream in the beautiful, picturesque beachfront islands of Puerto Rico. Yep. Way to make me jealous, mister. (laughs) He is the founder, creator, and host of Entrepreneurs on Fire and calls his listeners Fire Nation. I'm talking about none other than John Lee Dumas. Speaking of which, what name should I refer to Annie Talks listeners? Shall I call you Talkers or Annie Talkers? I'm going to leave that to you listeners. That's a great thing to comment on in the comment section down below. Start thinking of the name we can call Annie Talk listeners. Okay, once again, I digress. Yes, I know. Back to JLD, as he's known as. Entrepreneurs on Fire, also known as E on Fire, is such an inspirational podcast and JLD features so many cool guests who are indeed entrepreneurs and who have built an empire from the ground up and oftentimes lend their expertise with tips and tricks on how to get started with their own ventures. By listening to JLD and Eon Fire and all the great tips shared by his guests, you start to develop ideas of your own, or in my case, you get affirmation on what you perhaps questioned, whether something is good or whether it'll work or not. You get answers to these questions right on the spot. I heard a statistic recently that podcast in 2018 alone, let alone how well it did in 2017 and the years previous, the statistics showed that podcasts are growing exponentially. Not just the number of podcasts popping up every single day, but rather the number of people listening to podcasts is growing exponentially. In fact, for commuters, especially here in California, People spend more time commuting to and from work to school or they spend more time in their cars or modes of transportation commuting from point A to point B than maybe point C or D. You get my drift. They are listening to more podcasts while on their commute. They're listening to podcasts while at the gym, while working out, walking their dogs like I did this afternoon. <laughs> or at their desks at work. It's a happening thing and it's not going away. Podcasts are here to stay. Okay, back to JLD. I know, I digress. If you are an entrepreneur, whether you're a startup business or you're an entrepreneur and want to stay connected with other entrepreneurs or need a little inspiration and motivation, I recommend this podcast, Entrepreneurs on Fire, hosted by John Lee Dumas, because JLD shares his own story on how he got started, and he also collaborates with other entrepreneurs in hosting webinars, online courses, and he has quite a few books on sale in his online store, eonfire.com slash products. So I would recommend Eon Fire, Entrepreneurs on Fire by John Lee Dumas, or JLD. My third and last favorite podcaster of the month that I've been listening to is Gary V. Audio Experience. He is Gary Vaynerchuk, New York Times bestselling author of the new book, Crushing It, which I have yet to get. 
I have one of his books called Jab, 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 Right Hook, which talks about how to tell your story in a noisy social world. Gary V, as he's known as, is an American Belarusian, I believe, entrepreneur and business mogul. He has a strong social media presence on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and he is the founder, CEO, and co-owner of VaynerMedia. Gary is also in high demand as a public speaker worldwide. He's a serial entrepreneur and has been an early investor in companies such as Twitter, Tumblr, Venmo, and Uber. Gary is very popular. He's known in many industries from Fortune 500 companies to the music industry. Athletes, celebrities, talk show hosts all know about Gary Vee. I was listening to a podcast earlier today and he said something that struck a chord with me. And I'm not quoting him verbatim because... I don't actually remember the quote, but I'm paraphrasing here. So he said something along the lines of he became successful by basically being himself. He said, when I did me, the world came to me. So as we find ourselves constantly trying to find the next meal ticket, hustling and trying to prove ourselves to our boss, to our colleagues, to our clients, to our customers, once you just be yourself, according to Gary, be you, the world will eventually accept you for who you are. They may even want to become like you or become your friend or they'll gravitate to you. Gary V may be a bit rough around the edges, kind of street smart, but honestly, put aside all the roughness, you'll see the successful man that he is. I remember someone once told me, don't listen to the way I'm saying things, but rather listen to what I'm saying. Same concept applies here with Gary. He'll be the first to say it. He curses a lot. He knows that. But once you get past all of that and hear the sound advice he gives, he's pretty motivational and inspirational. One of the things that I like about Gary is he's evolving. What do I mean by that? He's dynamic and changes with the times. Technology is so advanced and is advancing every day. I mean, I think of myself as technologically savvy, but I'll be the first to admit that I don't know a lot of stuff still. (laughs) Gary is forward thinking and always looks ahead of what's to come. He jumps on the early adopter train and when he sees a good thing coming down the pike, he'll invest in it. I mean, that must be nice, right? If I had his fortune, I would likely be doing the same thing. He has so much knowledge that we all can gain so much from. I love that he shares his successes, his ideas, his tips and tricks. One more thing about Gary that I love is that there is no one-way cookie-cutter way of doing things in his eyes. When you listen to him talk, to millennials specifically, young people or other podcasters, I'm always listening for a common denominator in the things he tells people. And what's interesting is you don't hear that. For every person he speaks to, no matter who they are, it's different. It's dynamic and it's specific to that person. He'll have advice or suggestions tailor-made to that individual I think that's what I enjoy most about Gary is that he listens to the individual and has some some sort of nugget advice specific to that individual scenario. He'll tie that in somehow with his own experiences, but it always seems as though there's a message that is much more meaningful to, to that individual, and it could be just as meaningful to me, maybe to you. And to other listeners. So I would recommend the Gary V audio experience as another one of my favorite podcasters for the month of February. Well, that's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this podcast and learning about my favorite podcasters of the month. I'd really love to hear from you. And if you have a comment, please share that in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already checked out my YouTube channel, be sure to click on the link in the description box of this podcast and you can check out some videos on fitness, some videos on product reviews, tutorials, my celebration awareness series, and other Annie Talks episodes. 
And last but not least, if you haven't already subscribed to my podcast, be sure to hit the subscribe button and be notified of any new episodes that we upload. Thank you all again for tuning in and keep listening to Annie Talks.